If you're trying to make something complicated, one way of making it easier for yourself is by breaking the whole thing down into small parts, making those small parts, then putting those parts together. Um, so assembling it from small parts. So what we're going to have a look at is making a pencil pot. Little pencil pot to put things into. If I have a look in my space on work files, computing and IT, year eight and 3D printing, I've got four parts I made earlier. A base and three cylinders of three different heights which between the four of them are going to go together to make up my pencil pot. So the first thing I need to do is not open. Open would open them individually. I want to bring them together. I want to import. Let's file and import. So I'm going to work files, computing and IT, and year eight, and 3D printing, and pen pot base. Open that up. I'm going to put that on the corner. So that's my first piece. The blue box around it tells me that it, it's not something I can edit. Because I made it somewhere else, I couldn't edit or change it in here now. It's, a, it's what we call a component. So it's a solid component, and there's one in the model. Now what I want to do next is I want to bring in the other three pieces. So again, file and import. And I'm going to start with the tallest of the three cylinders. That's going to come in. What I want to do now is put that in the right place. Well, you can see it sort of jumps around the screen. It's quite hard to see exactly where I want it to go. I want to move it into this corner and I can't really move. I'm never going to be able to move it into place. I want to let the computer do the moving for me. So I'm going to undo loading that component. And what I want to do is I want to line up the bottoms of the three cylinders with the bottom of this tray shape. So one of the things I need to think about is what's the best camera angle to do that? Well, for lining things up on the bottom, why not look at the bottom? File and import the tallest cylinder. It comes in. And what it's done is it's grabbed hold of the middle of the bottom. That's where those little things are. If I now go near the end point, so I've actually paused on the line. So it's actually drawn a couple of lines into the center of that semicircle. And as I move towards it, it's going to jump. And the computer is now guessing and saying, do you want the center of your circle in the center of that curved corner? Yes, I do. Click and there it goes. Now I can rotate that over to have a look what I've done. I see that that is now sitting precisely and exactly in that corner, exactly what I want it to be. The camera, standard views on the bottom, file and import. I'm going to put the 60 cylinder in. Exactly the same thing. Pause on the edge, just pause for a second on the edge and let it think about what you're trying to do. Bring it towards the center, it will jump and center the component final part, import the 41, I'm going to put that on the other side, again pause on the edge, just give it a second, let it think, let it work out what you're trying to do, take it towards the centre and it'll jump and line up. And what I can do now is I can rotate that over and go to camera and stand view because I imagine get a bit of a better view in it, click on there, that goes off. And there now. Now making that shape with these intersecting sides would be extremely difficult to do um, otherwise. So actually breaking it into the four parts which were quite easy to make um, made it a lot easier to do. If I now wanted to be one single piece as opposed to four pieces I select all of it right mouse click and solid tools and union. Union is when you bring something together and that is now one single piece made out of four separate parts.